Martin, again, we were looking hopefully for two wins back to back, but we were fine until the 90th minute. Yeah, I think the, the first half we played quite well. I think that we, we passed quite well and created quite a few chances. Felt like we, we really should have scored a couple of goals before we did score. Um, so we came in at half time, you know, pretty pretty positive. Second half became, you know, much more of a battle. Lots of, um, you know, balls bouncing around midfield and so on. But in the second half, we created a lot of really really good chances. And if we could have taken one of those, that would have made a, made a big difference to us. That would have got us the second goal, and I think it would have been enough to win the game. But the game, uh, we didn't we didn't kill it off, and and that's the the frustrating thing I think today was that it was a good chance to get two wins in a row and to to gain a little bit of momentum, which we we've missed that opportunity. So it's very frustrating, and especially you know adds insult to injury to lose a goal so late in the game, and and uh, then there's no real time to get back at it. So yeah, very very disappointed with that that you know late goal, and also frustrated that we didn't see the take our chances earlier to ourselves in a better position. One change from your, your starting 11 with uh, Leon McCann coming in, mm -hmm. uh, talk us a bit about that. Yeah, so um, Aaron Taylor Sinclair was playing last week and got a slight hamstring injury so that was the only one change. Got a good win last week so wanted to try and keep a consistent lineup, um, which we which we did um, and yeah, thought thought that worked fine for us and, and if we were here after the, you know after getting a win we'd be probably saying right okay good we've got a little bit of momentum got a little bit of the same team for two two weeks roughly and that would be good so now we're going to have to react to that because I think that at times um, the reaction needs to be a lot stronger um, from us I think that we have to recognise where we are in the season we have to get a really strong finish to the season and um, it's going to take a, a, a really good reaction to that game because that wasn't really good enough from us. I think that was very frustrating that we didn't didn't go on to win this game and so there has to be a positive reaction and, and we're looking for that next week. One of the positives I felt was that the wing-back play, talked about Leon obviously coming on mm -hmm. uh, for his start and also as well Ryan Williamson, that they both seemed to bomb up and down that, that, that wing yeah. time upon time. Yeah, yeah, they did well. They got forward quite a lot, got got some good balls into the box. I think, um, yeah, looked, looked pretty dangerous, but we weren't quite um, as sharp as we'd like to be in, in and around the box to finish those chances. We definitely had quite a few. So, um, the, But yeah, I thought... There was lots of things in that game to be positive about and lots of things that we did well, but when the game ends like that, that's the definitely the over the main thing you're thinking about. I suppose it's one of those things you know, on the bench for Clyde when they're, they're, they're a goal down, what do you do? You bring on the big armoury and Taddy mm -hmm. uh, and Rob Jones and, and you could see that they were there to, to try and put pressure on because I felt personally that the likes of Javon Mills and, and Paul Watson in the, in the first half and for the, the, the vast majority of the second mm -hmm. half really didn't have a lot to do aerially against, against Clyde. Yeah, they handled all, all that they were asked to do well and I think that's, that's also why it is frustrating because it became that kind of battle which we stood up to well right until the end and so, uh, yeah. Very frustrating. Another frustrating thing as well, obviously, the results not going our way. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing we can do about that. I think it's really for us. It's more about controlling the things that we need to control, and I think that's where we've let ourselves down today. Oh no, it's a, another another point. I was on, I was I was thinking it was maybe going to be on the bench, but obviously we saw in the warm up, uh, Callum managing to, to go through a full warm up. So yeah. how is he? Is, is he not too far away? Yeah, hopefully not too far away. He's uh, back in the mix. I think we've got a bounce game this week, so hopefully he'll get to play in that and so some others. So yeah, hopefully get him back in the mix pretty quick. And then back onto league business on Saturday at home to, to Airdrie, a team that are that are doing well second in the league and yeah. and, and being consistent, something that, that we are not we are not at the moment. Yeah, that's the thing is that they've they've been consistent for quite a long time, picked up a lot of good results and are doing well. Um, and as you say, the, the big thing for us is we're not consistent. We, we're putting together some good performances, but then even within the same game, we see something different so we need to improve upon that some of that maybe comes from confidence I think that you know we're winning that game and and obviously the other teams coming a bit higher to press we probably could have played a lot better but we didn't but still created the chances and that's I think that the, the thing that really is annoying is that we didn't take the chances that we did create